Uh, so time to get uh, teched up with Warriors at the Borderlands. We've also A-M-I-A-M. -A -M. The Warriors at the Borderlands. So yeah, I liked this series. I thought it was really good and really interesting. It was... Eh, maybe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this series, I thought was really good. I absolutely found it really nice. But again, I like Gundam-like series where you get this funness to it. And it's fun. It's cool. The actual designs are so amazing. Obviously, as you watch this, I kind of did a bit of an error because it kind of did this at season one. So tomorrow you have season two, but I'm not going to talk about season two. So some of the stuff happening here, it's not going to happen to it, even though some of it... I will be talking about some spoilers and um, some images might spoil the spoiler. So yeah, but this is a good series, really fun and really awesome. And I find it really fun to watch. Um, so yeah, one of the spoilers, which sort of ends at the thing, which sort of like ignore this, sort of have him in a way sacrifice himself. But you see this image, so. But even with that being said, even with me being able to see this and be like, wait, wait, but who's this? So I fully went into it, believing this, because again, similar shirt, similar haircut, similar face. The one thing which I thought was a good idea, but that was like a really interesting idea of like, Someone who, at the beginning of the series, was like, oh, I'm not going to do anything soldier. I'm not going to, I don't want to be like a soldier. And then doing sacrifice. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me being insane. But I just find that really, like, fun. As a character, like, growth. As a character. I don't know why I like it in the cost. As a character arc. Uh, it's really cool, really awesome. And, yeah. So I absolutely recommend to watch this, and I 100% believe this is one of the really interesting series. So I hope you enjoyed, and good night.